Okay, we are inside the building on top of the caves of Machpelah. There's a downstairs and an upstairs. Downstairs we have no access. Upstairs here there are three rooms. Uh, the, the room over here on this side is a memorial for Abraham and Sarah. The room on the other side is a memorial room for Jacob and for uh, uh, Leah. And behind us room is the memorial for Isaac and Rebecca. Uh, but of course these are only memorial rooms. Uh, there's nobody in here. The caves are all the way beneath us. Uh, but this is all part of the 2,000 year old structure. The floor that we're walking on has been walked on for the last 2,000 years. Uh, and actually what people are, are always very interested in knowing about uh, are what is actually inside or where exactly the caves are. So come on over here with me. Now, in a minute, uh, in a minute, in a minute, the uh, Arab call to prayer, Friday call to prayer is going to start, and we're not going to be able to hear ourselves think. Uh, and that'll probably use up most of the rest of the time we have. I can try to talk over that. So, um, uh, just to give you a, uh, a quick rundown, um, <coughs> if somebody wants to try to understand what the actual tombs look like, this is a picture taken inside the caves of Machpelah. There are two caves. This is a picture taken from the outer cave looking inside into the inner cave. This is a, an authentic picture. This is what it, it looks like down there. Now today it's almost impossible to get down there. The whole area that allow, would allow us to get down is totally sealed off. Uh, so it's, it's, it's virtually impossible to get down there. Um, underneath here is a hole that goes all the way down. Uh, in 1968, a little girl was lowered down there. Uh, she found a tunnel. She found stairs, uh, but this was only found uh, in 1980 by a group of men who were able to, uh, uh, in a very secretive way, uh, get down underneath. Uh, but this is, is what it looks like down underneath itself.